there. Good day. I am Toby Zillions, and it's a beautiful day here in the city of Lagos, representing Brave Super TV. I'm going to be asking, what state would you rather not marry? Some people have their preferences and their prejudices, so do not go anywhere. Sit tight and enjoy. What tribe are you? Me? Mm -hmm. I'm from KB State. KB State. Yes. So which state would you never get married to? Ah, Jesus. I will never marry Calabar girl, Calabar woman. And simply because <laughs> I'm not ready for several and though. God forbid. <laughs> I cannot come and kill as ever. <laughs> you tell me, I'm not doing it. Let's just do two rounds now. Then another hour later, we'll do another round. Can't you tell her like that? Seven and per night, even I'm on the seven, no seven, she got it outside, so that's just easy. So I can't, you know, see my, allow my wife to go and do, as a woman, I cannot, I cannot do. And Babu said, Do not give your strength to women. <laughs> Babu said, Now, people are proper. So if I give you all my strength in the at night, seven and, then I would say, Well, I'm just gonna make money. <laughs> if I get them, I'm gonna be sleeping. He's a real evil man, you know, yeah. he prefers money over sex, huh? No. Does not want anybody to kill his career. No, not that very much, but at least if at least maybe if I if you're my wife, I'll be every minimum thirty days. One. One round. <laughs> minimum. Yeah, the first guy I'm seeing that he doesn't want to have sex every day. No. Every no 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 no, it's not No, three days, every three, three days. Every three days, one round. Hey God, it's good though. As in, yeah, so I like stuff like this. So I think I think I have to make money. Every three days be nice. As in, me too, I would like that. Even after three days, so sometimes I can just vote because I'm busy in thinking of creativity. Now I'm here. Sometimes one week, once one round, though. I cannot go more than never one round. <laughs> okay, sir. Okay, sir. Good afternoon. Good up. You are? I'm Abraham. Abraham, Papa Abraham has many sons. Okay, sir, so tell me, sir, are you are you married? No, single. Ah, are you single and searching? I'm not searching. But it's complicated. Yeah. No guy is ever single. I don't think there's any guy that is so there is always a female that is latching on them. Is it the right time now? <laughs> okay, sir, so tell me. Um what lady would you rather not get married to? If you were to but okay, I'll be married next two months. What lady would you? Uh -huh. Like, is it a state or? Yes, yeah, a state or a tribe. Um, like I would say, this is Jebu people. Ijebu. Oh, why? They are girls, eh? I don't like them. You don't like them? What if you're doing my boy? Ah man. <laughs> Even if they have, they will say they don't have. Okay, so they are selfish. That's why you don't want to get married. They um. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Uh, none. Every tribe is fine, actually. Every tribe is fine by you. So your criteria for marriage is not actually the tribe or the state the person is from. No, it's not. So tell me, what is your criteria? Um. Okay, well, she has to have the fear of God. She has to have ambition. She has to have common sense. Ah. <laughs> it's a very serious question. Right? <laughs> yes. So answer. Okay. We sit, state. Hmm. Let's see, you can marry anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I can marry anybody. Because nothing is forbidden to I don't get to marry to other state. So you don't have any prejudice against a particular state? Like, let me say one state now, they like this too much. I don't like this. Okay, but you don't have any prejudice? No, I don't have any. So you can get married to anybody? Anybody. Can you get married to that beautiful sister over right there? I think so. She, you know? Are you ready to get married? <laughs> oh, okay. She just said something. I won't let you know what she just said. With me here, Mr. Isaac. Isaac and Miss Andaline. Andaline. So tell me, um, Mr. Isaac, what state would you rather not get married to from? Uh actually I never have had intentions of um, getting married to anyone from Nigeria. Uh, yeah. Okay. I don't know, I don't just uh, feel this vibe with Nigerian ladies. Okay, so you, you are you are engaged, right? You have a girlfriend. No, no, no. Apparently, no. Well, you've never dated a Nigerian. 
Of course I have. Because I wanted to look at you like, are you seriously right now? <laughs> no, I've actually dated a Nigerian, but the relationship didn't go uh, well. It went south. So you are like, okay, not states, but country. I would rather not. Why, why, why not a Nigerian? Okay, so that question is kind of difficult for me to answer right now because <laughs> I, I have not figured out a perfect answer for that. Yeah. But I just feel Nigerian ladies have this common mindset, which I, uh, which is kind of difficult to to say on camera. So okay. yeah. So I don't know. You don't want to get married to a Nigerian. Probably. Yeah. Miko. <laughs> what do you mind me? Are you proposing to me? Yes, marry me, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't marry Nigerian. Are you engaged? No. Single? Yes. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Are you sure? I don't know. I'm just. I am okay. So tell me, if you were to get married tomorrow, what type would you rather not get married? Okay, uh, Alsa. Why? But <laughs> I don't just like them. But what type are you from? Like. Where are you from? I'm Delta State. Okay, so you'd rather not get married to an Aousa girl? Uh, no reasons at all? Because of the religion. Okay, would the Christianity Islam thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't just like... What tribe would you rather not... If you were to say, okay, I've made my money now, I have blow and stuff like that. Which tribe would you rather not get married to or even date? Are you Yoruba? Yoruba? Are you Yoruba? I'm not Yoruba. What tribe are you from? I'm Kogi. I'm Igala. Okay, so you'd rather not get married to a Yoruba girl? Yes. Why? What did they do? Please tell me. Not that they are bad. Okay. But you know, due to individual difference, you know, some people, like Igbo girls, they like money. Mm? Outside girl, I can even trust an outside girl to so Yoruba girl. But in other way, Yoruba girls are even more better than Igbo. Why don't you want to get married to your brother? Yoruba girls, they, most of them, majority of them doesn't know how to cook. Majority of them don't Yes. And you like food? Hey! Food man! Yes. <laughs> My father is a farmer. Okay. And I like eating always. And what? You can cook and what, what? Yes, I can cook, but... Yeah. What if I go to work? I'm, on my way coming back, I will get her and I, I, the wife will still expect me to come and cook before she eats. Yoruba girls, I'm Yoruba for crisis. I love cooking! <laughs> Okay. Must have gone to um, catering school. Also. Must I go to catering? <laughs> I've died though. Must I have gone to catering school? Yes. So, so you rather get not get married to your bag girl because she cannot cook. Not only that. They don't. They don't. They, they don't have patience. Grab. Patience. Patience. Yes. But you do have patience. Yes. Yes, I have. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I say my reason for saying that they don't have patience is this. You know, their own problem is that is that they must not be hungry while in husband house. You understand? So due to that, <laughs> Yoruba girls, Yoruba girls can can easily be convinced by another man being being a a a a, 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 a family wife as in. How do I put it? You understand? So they can easily go to they can become they can easily be deceived. Oh you want loyalty? Deceived by anybody. Why be married, self? They don't care because of the hunger. This guy is talking from personal experience. Okay, sir. So thank you very much, Mr. Ezekiel. Right? Yes, what tribe would you never get married to? For instance, some people will. Some people will be like, okay, I don't want to get married to this person. I don't want to get married to that person. Do not go anywhere because we are about to blow your mind with their responses. Thank you. Okay, and we are back, sir. Can you introduce yourself? My name is Henry. Okay, Mr. Henry. So, sir, obviously you are married. Yeah, I'm married. Before you got married, what were the criteria you used in choosing your wife? Uh, there are so many things we consider, but at, at the end of the day, is what God wants, that what you do. There are a lot of factors, you sometimes say, I want a tall person, you want a short person, okay. you want fair, but at the end of the day, is what God has proposed for that way you are going to get married to. Okay, so you did not think about the state, like maybe this person is from Ogun State, or this person is from 
Can you not state? You didn't pick up the state. The state was not. No, no. Because of my background, I I was born in Eastern Nigeria. I schooled in Lagos here. Okay. My secondary school in Lagos. My university and uh, been with them, my service in the Bayasa. So I cut across so many areas. So that was not a factor. And I was agreeing, I have other I have friends that we are not from evil speaking people place. So it was not really matter for me. But your wife is evil? Yes. But, but, that, <laughs> was, but, my but, uh, but that was not really matter to me. But it just worked like that. You, are you seeing anyone? Mm, yes. Yes. To so my age? Yes, yes. Is Ibo, yeah? No, Yoruba. Oh, my nice. Okay, so tell me, what says would you rather not get married to Ibo? Why? You are Ibo for Christ's sake. What would you denounce your people? Um, actually, it's kind of their tradition based on when your husband dies, like the after effects it comes to both the children and the wife. Okay, so that's what you're scared of. I'm very scared of that, serious. Oh, your husband will not die, huh? I know you know that, but must die someday. <laughs> okay, so you don't want them to come and say, okay, your, our brother has died now, or uh, the house is for us. All the things that you and your husband worked for, they say it's for them, the car is for them, and everything. I can't face that, seriously. Seriously, I, I feel your pain. Even me, I can't face that. <laughs> okay, so tell me something. Yeah, and I'm with me, Mr. Me. Mr. Niji. Sir, are you married? Yes, of course. Your, your wife is your baba? Of course. I don't know why Yoruba likes getting married to Yoruba. Why? It's not a Yoruba thing. It's a Yoruba thing. <laughs> it's not a Yoruba thing. It's a natural thing. I mean, I don't want to get married to a Yoruba guy. Why? Uh, it's my preference now. Okay, so if you are not married now, which state would you rather not get married to? Well, I can marry any any tribe. Any, I can marry from any part of the country. Okay, so you don't have any preferences? Uh, no, you know, even... Even that, there are some people that believe that um, they can't marry a particular tribe because of their attitude or because of their way of life and all that. They will say some people are, you know, some people are money conscious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They, they, they are, you know, they are more interested in getting money. You get why some people will say some people are more of tribe of four one nine and you know why some will say the ladies of some areas are, you know. They are, they are more into prostitution and all that. But all of that, all of that, I don't think it's peculiar to, you know, any tribe or any state in the country. Okay, so you, you get, don't have any prejudice. You can get married so to anybody. I can get married to anybody. So it, depends, it depends on, you know, see, it's love we are talking about. Love will drive you to anywhere. Do you get? So if love, you, if love drive you to, a, a, you know, an Awusa land now, and you saw a beautiful wife in Awusa land, and you love the person, we you not know say because you're a Yoruba person that you're not going to get married to that person? Is that what you're saying? Uh, so it depends on where, where love drives you to. That's my own belief. You get? Why some people, even if the love is driving them, but because this person is coming from an Igbo, Igbo, you know, background, Igbo tribe, you know, they will ignore that love. And they go and marry the wrong person. And love is the key.